Good morning. It's Wednesday, December 29th, 2021, and this is Cafe Devo coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, hanging out here in the pastor study with my pal Bugsy, and I hope your Wednesday is going well. We're reading this morning from the book Salt and Light, a collection of devotions written by Chris Tigran. It's copyright 2019. Tyndale House Publishing, John chapter 17, verse 21. I pray that they will be one, just as you and I are one, as you are in me, Father, and I am in you, and may they be in us, so that the world will believe that you sent me. The Father and I are one, Jesus once said to an antagonistic crowd, he didn't explain exactly how they are one, whether it was in purpose or in personality or in essence, but we get the sense throughout the rest of the Gospels that all of the above are true, that he and the Father are one in every way possible. There is no lack of unity, no hair's breadth of difference between the Father's nature and the Son's. So when Jesus prayed that his followers would be one in the same way he and the Father are one, we could hardly be blamed for being astonished. He saw his followers as completely united with him and with each other, just as the members of the Trinity are united. And when you think about it, that's a staggering thought, and we wonder if it could possibly be true. Are we really one with Jesus in that same way? Are we really united to other believers with that degree of unity? In spiritual terms, the answers are yes. If God has united us to himself as the body of Christ, we know we are truly united. But in practical terms, we have every reason to be disappointed over our actual experiences. We don't feel at one with Jesus, at least not all the time. And we look around at our fractured relationships and our churches that hardly seem to know who Jesus is at times and have no clue how to get along with one another and have never managed diversity very well. But let's not spend too much time knocking the church. There are no perfect churches because there are no perfect people. And churches, after all, are all made up of people. And so, of course, our experience falls short of the truth we have been given. Even so, Jesus tied this unity to the world's belief. When we step into oneness with Jesus and when diverse Christians are able to live in unity with one another, people notice. The world notices. It makes a powerful statement. We demonstrate the binding love of the Godhead when we embrace the binding love of the Son and his followers, and the world begins to see. Oh, Father, may we be one as you prayed. May we be united first with you and then with each other here in our local church, and then with believers all around the world, different kinds of people who worship you and approach you in different ways, and yet are one because they are in you just as we are in you. Bless us with that, Father. If we can't understand it, help us to simply live it, to be one. We make our prayer today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Wednesday edition of Cafe Devo. Hey, before I go, I want to remind you that there is no Wednesday night live stream tonight. We are shut down till after the first of the year, and we'll see you again next week, the first Wednesday night of January at 7 p.m. But for tonight, uh, there is no Wednesday night live stream. So I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off for now. Have a great Wednesday. God bless you all. And I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.